Peace community, what's going on? It's your boy Tyson here, and I'm excited to be in front of y'all again because I get to introduce y'all to my newest work, which is entitled Carry On Tradition, A History of Righteous Rebellion. It's a history like you've never seen before when it comes to the Black diasporic experience. Carry On Tradition is such an important text because of the way that it redefines the history of Black people in the Western Hemisphere in its truest form or in its truest sense, which is that of a history of righteous rebellion, resistance, and revolution. For most students throughout this country, and especially here in California, when it comes to the way that our history is being taught, in the fifth grade, according to the California social studies content standards. Black people are first referred to as miserable and pitiful slaves. That's the first way that students get introduced to the black experience. Fast forward a couple grades later, we get to the eighth grade. That's the first time that black people are introduced as black people and not as slaves. Fast forward a few more years, we get to 11th grade. That's the first time that black people are introduced as a community known as African-Americans. This is not the way that our history should be taught. That is part of the reason why Carry On Tradition exists. This is a text that centers the true reality of our experience and our response to imperialism, colonization, and forced enslavement. The text begins in the year 1441 because in that year, that's the first time that Western Europeans, specifically the Portuguese, came to the coast of West Africa. In this encounter between Portuguese and West Africans, it resulted in the Portuguese leaving that coast after brutally and violently kidnapping 12 West Africans, taking them back to Portugal to be forcibly enslaved. That's one part of the story. The other part of the story is how did African peoples respond to that? They said, never again. So in the pages of Carry On Tradition, what you're gonna see, you're gonna see these vivid images that are historical reimaginings of these major historical moments that we need to be aware of. So you'll see this beautiful, amazing picture of the 1441 experience, and you're gonna see the response from West Africans to the 1441 experience. You're gonna see the way that our people responded and they rebelled when they were on those ships crossing the Atlantic Ocean. You'll see all the different ways that our people responded with righteous rebellion throughout the Western Hemisphere. That's the true story of our history. And that's the story that everybody needs to know, especially black students in these classrooms. Join me in making sure that this book is in every single community, is in every single home, is in our schools, is in our school districts, is in our libraries. Let's make sure and our people have access to this knowledge and this information, and let's carry on tradition. Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my.